I don't know how old I was. My grandfather, he gave me a remote controlled car for Christmas. And I don't know why, but the first thing I did was completely disassemble it and reassemble it to a little robot. The basic idea came together when a good friend of mine sent me an email of a notification for the Google Lunar X Prize competition, which was a challenge set up by Google. And these two founders of Google, they had the crazy idea of awarding $30 million to the first private individual landing a rover on the moon. I did my part back in the 60s, but we always felt it was uh, uh, some left undone. Jack Venture has been somebody I look up to from the day I met him. He worked on the Apollo program and he was part of the team that helped getting Neil Armstrong to the moon safely and of course bring him back. Sooner or later, uh, we will actually have people land on the moon and colonize it. And if I could, I would be on that flight. I, I want to go so bad. Yeah, Carson is heading the electronics team. His job is, you know, making stuff blink and electronics work. You're, you're stuck with your with with the details and the problems, and you you solve them one by one, and eventually you get your mission done, and you're arriving on the surface of the moon, and this must be the greatest feeling ever. Jung is the head of engineering in our team, so he's the guy who actually designed the entire robot that we currently have from the technical point of view. I think we we all want to do something for the history books to make something special which uh, nobody has done it before. If you start out doing something and you know it's considered to be impossible then Actually, maybe this is the very reason why you should do it. Robert is just a really good leader. He keeps it all together. They worked incredibly hard, he and his whole team. Yeah, we're going to send a rover to the moon in the next two years. And the goal of the, of the mission is to deploy these two lunar rovers on the surface of the moon, drive these 500 meters, send back HD video, win, of course, the Google and X Prize competition, and deploy some really, really important payloads for our mission, and of course, explore the Apollo 17 landing site. So, to give us a whole lot of knowledge that helps us to build a future of private space exploration. The space industry pretty well crashed around 1972. So, it's nice to be back on a team that has the drive, the hunger.